Welcome back, everyone, to What's Cooking. We're in the Season Kitchen in downtown Flagstaff with this guy, John Connolly <laughs> from Salsa Brava over on East Flagstaff Route 66. We're having some good fun in the kitchen right now. John, it's time for a main course, and we're going to stay with the theme of hands-on here in the kitchen. We got we some are. big fat chilies going on. We got here. some big fat chilies. The theme is hands-on. The theme is first date night. Mm -hmm. We kept it simple. Right. Summer's coming here, farmer's market again. Couple ways to do this. We're gonna do this will be a vegetarian dish, by the way. Okay. Um, we have we have roasted poblanos. Mm -hmm. We'll make one of these two, and then we have um, roasted Anaheim's. If it's too much to roast these, mm -hmm. you can get in a can okay. fire roasted already. It's summer. Go to the farmers market. These guys are growing beautiful chilies. But this is more fun. This is more fun. Yeah. And, and if and the, the easy way to do this, if you don't want to start your grill, get your ga your gas burner going. Set those right over the fire. Let them roast right over the top. Turn them periodically. When those are done chilling, or, or, or uh, roasting up. Roasting, thank you very much. We're gonna put them in a bag, mm -hmm. and then we'll let them steam for 10 minutes. I'll turn those off, because we already have some here. Okay. So these have been roasted. Okay. We'll put them in a bag, we let them steam. Okay. The skin just peels right off. But when you do that, Look at that. It, it separates from the skin. Look at that, can I try that? Sure, right. that, that so one's all yours. You betcha. So chef, I've got a question. Sure. Ooh. Um, are the Anaheim chilies called Anaheim chilies because they're from Anaheim, California? <laughs> <laughs> you knew that question. Had that's to be a coming. great. That's a great question. No, actually, it's it's a hybrid, and these Anaheim chilies come from the Rio Grande Valley in New Mexico. Hmm. Hatch, uh, the Rio Grande River runs mm -hmm. through there. Very fertile valley. Um, these chilies actually come from a little farm called Arlo's that we get all of our chili from. We get our chili diarbo. I mean, literally, his kids are out there walking in in the fields picking the chili arbol, we get them all destemmed. All of our hatch chilies, hatch chilies are coming in. Right now you can get the poblanos. They do five different chilies there, but New Mexico is the hot place. Hatch, New Mexico, good it's question. A, that is a good question, and we, we do have a couple of poblanos. We've got a couple of Anaheims. Heat-wise, what's the difference between the two? These, they're, they're, the, the poblano's gonna have a little more heat, but okay. not much. These are mild, these are mild chilies. We didn't wanna, we didn't wanna strip wax and remove paint today. Mm. Um, <laughs> But, but there are varieties and hybrids of the Anaheim that will strip wax and remove paint. All right, so chili rellenos. Chili rellenos, rellenos. About one and a half eggs per chili relleno. We're gonna make three of them. Okay. So about four or five eggs. So what I want Good. you to do is, is we're gonna separate these. You can do them in your hand. Okay. And then I just toss them back and forth like this. Get separate them. You don't wanna break the yolks. Okay. In it goes, and then the yolks go right in there. So we are, we are separating the uh, yolk from the whites. And then you're gonna, you're gonna beat them like mad. Okay. All right, power tools. Okay. Grab that. We're so you wanna beat these till they're stiff. Beat the whites. Yep, beat okay. the whites. And, and uh, we just wanna aerate them. We wanna put as much, there you go, more power. Those look great. Oh, look at that. These nice have been beating for about a minute or two and we've got them, look at the peak yep. down on that. Hold peaks. Fully aerated, so what are so, we doing? So where we go from here, like uh, for our purposes, we're going to do this on a flat top. Uh, a chili arena you may have had elsewhere. Sure. Um, they're going to take and they're going to roll the chili through the batter. Okay. And then they're going to dunk the whole thing in a fryer. And we're not going to do that. We're going to do it on a flat top. It's much healthier. It's not saturated with oil. And, and we're going to use canola oil. So we're going to keep it all vegetarian. Okay. We're going to need that one more time. Okay. We'll keep that right here. We're going to add half the egg yolks. Okay. And then we're going to hit them with this one more time. Okay, we're just going to so incorporate this. So I pull Got that it. back in. All Got right. it. Okay, hit it hard. Hit softly. Softly. Because we don't want to take the air out of it. So just, just want to incorporate it gently. And believe it or not, that's good right there. Right there? Yep. Okay, All right. look at that. Very easy. So this will hold, hold nicely. Okay. Now we're going to stuff our chilies. So we've got these beautiful chilies that we've roasted. We peeled them. And these are the Anaheims yep. that we've cut roasted a, and peeled. We're going to cut a little slat in there. Now, yeah. now, now the seeds you're going to see are up by the stem. You see oh, how they're right yeah. there? Yep. So you just reach in there and you grab what you can. These are early chilies, so they don't have a whole lot of, of seeds in them. So we're just going to take a few of the chilies out. Mm -hmm. We're going to cut a little bit of piece, a little piece of jack cheese on here. There's some Monterey jack yep. cheese. And what I like to do when I do this is I cut it at a point because then it's easier to get in the hole. Got it. So down it goes, just like that. And you left some seeds in there. You, we, you we, just got out the, the ones yeah. that you can grab easily exactly. and then left a few in there. Okay. So there we go. You want to give it a stroke? Give it a go? Sure. Choose your weapon. You bet. I'll choose this as my weapon right here. Just a little slit on the top. A little slit. Like that. Yep. Okay. Stick your fingers in and pull the seeds out. What you can. Perfect. Okay. And then you got your little insert like this. Yep. Slide it on in. So in order to hold the batter, we're going to roll it in a little bit of flour. 
Just general all-purpose water. Yeah, and what that does is just help the batter adhere to it. So I'm gonna hit this little bit of canola oil. Okay. I've got this down turned to low. You're gonna grab that batter. Okay. And I'll do the first one. Okay. Let me just spread that out a little bit so we have good coverage there. Just like that. Okay. And then we're gonna put one chili right on top. And I know you're going, that doesn't look like very much and the batter's gonna no, come it across. Doesn't. You want to do the other, the other, the other two right there? Okay. A little dollop. Nice. Okay. Just like that. Just a little blanket. Okay, we've been cooking these uh, chili rellenos on the griddle for about two and a half minutes on a side. And yep. interesting thing about this, they look like omelets to me. Yeah, I mean, they, literally, they, they look like omelets. They do, and they they're more flat. Like I said, normally they would be dunked in the flour, mm -hmm. rolled in the batter, and then just submerged in a fryer. But sure. this is so much healthier. You can see it's drier. It doesn't mm -hmm. have a whole lot of oil to it. These are ready to come off. We're going to plate these up. Let's plate them up. Okay, we've plated these great looking chili rellenos here, but we need to put something else on this plate. We're going to make a really quick sauce. Quick sauce. Okay, a quick sauce. Okay. Um, we're going we're gonna to saute up a little bit of garlic and a little bit of onion. This is going to be a sauce. You're, you're, yeah. So what are we making in terms of the rice? Well, the rice, we're going to make a dirty rice. We've got it, we've got it sauteing over here. Okay. For the, for the tomato sauce, a little bit of garlic, mm -hmm. the onions are going to go in. We're just going to brown this. Canola oil? A little canola oil. Mm -hmm. If you'd like to take those tomatoes and put those tomatoes in that blender right there. Okay. We're going to let that brown. We're going to just take this right from here into the blender. Perfect. That's it. Okay. Right back in here. Very nice. Very nice. In go the bay leaves. We got three bay leaves here, and we're gonna let that bay leaf. It's you know, once once you reconstitute these, they have some really nice oils in them. So mm -hmm. this is gonna go right in here. We're just gonna let them cook. So what we did. We just took our rice and we put a little bit of oil in here, okay. and we're just toasting it. You can see it's gonna crack the kernel a little bit. It's a cup of rice. It's a cup and a half of chicken stock. Mm -hmm. The corn is gonna go right in with the rice. A little bit of tomato puree. We're talking about a teaspoon. Mm. In comes the chicken stock. In comes the chicken stock. We're going to put just a little bit in there, and then we're going to turn it. Our easy sauce has been simmering now on the stove for about 10 minutes here, John. Yep. And the dirty rice is continuing to simmer on the stove. So what's the next piece of the puzzle here? Rice is going to be about 10 more minutes. Okay. Sauce is done. We'll season that up. We're going to make the calabacitas. We're going to do calabacitas con elote. Really simple again. A little bit of canola oil. So that's it. We're going to saute this up. We're going to hit it with a little bit of salt, some corn. Okay, sauce is ready to go for our chili rellenos. Our calabacitas are ready to be added into the mix. What's the next step? Dirty rice is done. I'm gonna okay. pull the bay leaves out. Okay, bay leaves come out of the sauce. And we're ready to plate. I went ahead and put a little bit of garlic salt, a little bit of salt in this just to taste. A little chopped cilantro. A little chopped cilantro right on the top there. Mm -hmm. Little calabacitas, a little cotija cheese, a little bit of cilantro we're gonna put right here in the corner. A little paprika. A little paprika. Okay, John, we do some dessert next? Let's do some flan. Let's do some flan, a creamy classic coming up next here on What's Cooking. Stay tuned.